Hello, gardening enthusiasts. Welcome back to your channel. Today, we're diving into the world of rose care. There's an art to nurturing these beautiful blooms, and a crucial part of that process is pruning. Pruning not only stimulates growth but also contributes to the health and aesthetics of your roses. Today, we'll be sharing a step-by-step -step guide on how to prune your roses for optimal growth and stunning blooms. If you're ready to give your roses the love and attention they deserve, grab your gloves and let's jump right in. Before we get our hands dirty, let's make sure we have the right tools for the job. You'll need a pair of sharp pruning shears, some gloves to protect your hands, and consider having long-handled loppers on hand for thicker branches. Now that we're all set, let's move on to the next step. The timing of your rose pruning is crucial. Aim for late winter or early spring, just before new growth begins. This allows your roses to focus their energy on those fresh new shoots and beautiful blooms. Each region has its unique prime pruning time due to varying climates. We've got a handy chart in the description below, so check that out to know when it's pruning time in your region. Now let's move on to the real action. Take a close look at your roses and identify any dead, damaged, or diseased wood. This is a vital step to ensure the health and vitality of your beloved roses. Keep an eye out for canes that are discolored, shriveled, or simply look unhealthy. Grab your pruning shears and make clean cuts an angle of 45 degrees targeting the base of these unwanted canes. This not only keeps your roses healthy, but also promotes new growth. Remember, pruning isn't just about aesthetics. It's about creating the best possible environment for your roses to thrive. With the unwanted wood out of the way, it's time to shape your rose bush. Trim the remaining canes by cutting just above outward-facing buds. This encourages the growth of new branches, improving air circulation and sunlight penetration. A well-shaped rose bush is a happy rose bush. If you're working with bush roses, you might want to consider reducing the overall height. Aim to trim the canes to about 18 to 24 inches from the ground. This height reduction keeps your rose bush compact while also promoting robust growth and a profusion of flowers. Apply a balanced fertilizer after pruning to provide nutrients for the upcoming growing season. Follow the recommended dosage on the fertilizer package and water thoroughly. Remember, pruning is the key to healthy, thriving roses. It might seem like a bold move, but roses are resilient. They'll bounce back, and soon you'll be enjoying a season full of vibrant blossoms. Remember that the specific needs of your roses may vary based on the type and variety, so always consider the characteristics of your specific roses when pruning. And there you have it, a simple and effective guide to pruning your roses. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more gardening techniques. Happy gardening and see you next time.